Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden today. We're back with more Nightwish. This is the heart. Ask the pleasure first. Alright, so we're back to Imaginarium again, two days in a row, with the heart ask pleasure first. Another one with Annette. Let's check it out. I love the keyboard part already. The keyboard and her voice together there is just sweet. Oh, nice. I love that. That's a nice progression. I wish it was a bit longer, that switch up, but that's, that works too. Gladiator. It's weird. Why is it set why is it heart with an H on one and then it's not the next one? Did they just mess it up or is she saying hearth? Like is it is that just curious if that's actually lyric or if they messed up. Because I'm unfamiliar with the word if it has an H at the end. Again with that wonderful progression of music where it's coming up to the climax with the orchestration just going full on. Of how um, the uh, the violin here it has that uh, I like that slight uh, gypsy feel to it. Uh, I know gypsy is a whole style on its own, and it wasn't really that, but it has like 
it feels like it has those undertones to it a little bit like just the sound and the way it was played and I love that uh, that ending to it. it it's a great way to finish off uh, off that you know that huge climax and the orchestration and all the music this is another one of those songs that was just just like it was a pretty good track like I don't I don't think it's like top 10 worthy or anything like that but it, it, it's it's just another uh, beautiful song that and it did a great job on the vocals keyboard parts again stood out to be a lot on this one uh, oh, excuse me guys obviously the orchestration from this album is just amazing on every track every track I've heard from it I just love the orchestration on it it did such a great job on Imaginarium uh, for those parts and it really shows that he put a <laughs> it seems like you put a lot of time in on the orchestration on this album uh, it really it really just you know it it goes uh, it just feels like it's I don't know it feels like it's bigger and, and really just big amount of uh, instruments going on with this orchestra on this album and maybe that's just the way it got mixed maybe they actually did do a lot more with stuff too compared to the other ones uh, I'm not an expert on this yet obviously or we wouldn't be doing uh, uh, Night Wishes Daily Band if I knew all this stuff already. So um, maybe you guys can let me know if uh, Imaginarium uh, was the album that they kind of went all out with the orchestration on. Because uh, that's just how it feels so far. Maybe it's just me uh, not getting enough from the, the next albums as much. You know, was what, there's two albums after this one? Two or possibly three. Uh, I think I'm wrong when I say that, but I'm... Pretty sure it's one, but I'm, I think Dark Passion Play came after Imaginarium. I can't remember now, and that's gonna bug me. Um, but yeah, uh, either way, uh, those the last few albums. I'm just curious if this one had uh, the uh, had, like the biggest sound from the orchestration. Uh, anyway, let's get this show on out of the way. It's good to be back. Hey, you guys get to see me on again. <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking this one out with me. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. I'm also on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.